what's up i'm arya and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a recommendation video i'll be recommending you some of my absolute favorite books from 2019 which you definitely should complete reading before stepping into 2020 so of course there are not much days left in 2019 to end so i selected those books specially which are not very lengthy and uh, you know they almost lie between 300 to 500 pages so you will be able to complete them very easily and within a very short period of time so yeah also these books are my favorite from the ones which i've read in 2019 so i look forward to recommending it to you and definitely give it a try so yeah without any further ado now let's get into the video So the first book for this video is going to be Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Now we all know John Green as the American author who wrote the very famous Fault in Our Stars and I'm sure most of you would have read that book and um, let's not go into that coming back to Turtles All the Way Down. It is a young adult fiction and realistic fiction talking basically about uh, OCD, mental stress and anxiety, depression and all those things. This is something which you will be able to relate with a lot because um you know the things which John Green has mentioned in the book are very you know narrowed down you know the perspective which john green has used it is a very narrow down perspective and it talks about the actual problems and uh, feelings which we go through basically in our teenage so it is not entirely based on his real life but john green has also mentioned that this book is very close to him because it is inspired by his own life and his own way of thinking and uh, the personal traumas and uh, anxiety which uh, he had to go through so it is basically that and um, so the plot of the book basically revolves around this uh, teenage girl named Aza Holmes and uh, the way she looks on and uh, handles the situations in her life the loss of her father and her budding relationship with her neighbor as well as her relationship with her best friend Daisy and how it deteriorates uh, with time because of certain circumstances and uh, how she feels that her overpowering anxiety does not actually let her live a normal life i absolutely loved reading this book because i think there are long paragraphs in the book which uh, you know while you read them you'll think as if they are solely written for you and it is talking to you in a way so that is something which um, you know intrigues me a lot about a book so i'm sure you'll find that interesting too now the second book is norwegian wood by haruki murakami now if you haven't ever read murakami's books before i think norwegian wood is the best way you can start reading his works because the writing style is very easy and um, at the same time the plot is very interesting and in intriguing so you'll enjoy reading this book talking about the plot of the book and storyline so it actually is sort of a romantic novel and is written from the first person perspective of uh, the main protagonist and narrator of the book whose name is Toru and um, so uh, one day he's just sitting and he's reminded of his past and he recollects the memory of his college days and um, also readers come across um, you know his through his memories they come to know about his relationship with two very different women so one of them is named naoko uh, who is very beautiful and is very you know pretty but is emotionally very unstable and uh, you know very weak so throughout the novel she is very gloomy and is very um, pessimistic about her attitude towards life on the other hand toru also falls in love with another woman named uh, midori who is very lively and outgoing so these are the two perspectives like uh, one is very gloomy and the other one is very lively so yeah th this is something which comes across very in an interesting way in the book so i am sure you'll enjoy reading that so yeah go for this book also the third book is you are the best wife by an indian author named ajay k pande i generally don't recommend indian authors books 
बट दिस वन इज वेरी स्वीट एंड अ वेरी यू नो मूविंग नॉवल बेस्ड ऑन अजय के पांडे ओन लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसिस इट बेसिकली टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ ही मेट दिस गर्ल नेम्ड भावना इन हिज कॉलेज एंड हाउ दे फेल इन लव एंड गॉट मैरिड एंड इट एंडस विथ भावनाज डेथ एक्चुअली विच इज़ वेरी डिस्टर्बिंग एट एंड कम्स अक्रॉस एज अ वेरी यू नो ब्रेक पॉइंट इन द नावल बट दिस नावल इज actually a roller coaster of emotions it will take you it will make you laugh it will make you smile it will make you cry at the same time so yeah i definitely and highly recommend you to read this book now coming over to the fourth one so this book is named when you ask me where i'm going by jasmine kaur now jasmine kaur is a canadian sikh author and poetess and this is her debut novel and it was actually published this year in october that is october 2019 so yeah it is it is basically a very powerful powerful set of uh, prose poetry and uh, fiction and uh, it is uh, beautifully illustrated by the help of images and illustrations it basically talks about the challenges and experiences of women across the globe so that is i think something which you will be very interested to read because it is not a fiction entirely it is based on true stories and also inspired by true uh, experiences of the author herself it talked about every negative thoughts like uh, depression anxiety mental illness and all such things but at the same time it will empower everybody who reads this book in a very beautiful way and uh, i definitely recommend you to go for this one as well also i've already made a full book review on this book so i'll link it up here as well as in the description box so you can go and check that out now coming over to the fifth book the end of loneliness by benedict wells now this book is very different and unique in its own way you know every reader i think who will read this book will perceive it in a different manner it depends on the mindset and the way you perceive things so the main protagonist of the book is named Jules who is sure to become your best friend by the end of the read because he is that relatable the book very uniquely combines you know the north pole and south pole of our emotions that is on one hand it talks about uh, the tremendous power of love as well as on the other hand it talks about um, you know the pain which uh, comes to us from any loss or loneliness so it is a very unique read and i definitely would recommend you to go for it because i am not very much into these books but i loved it now the sixth book is very obvious and uh, you know if you have been sticking around with me and my channel for quite some time you know that this book cannot be left out of any recommendation videos and that is the prophet by khalil gibran now i absolutely love this book i adore this book and i always will so nothing can stop me from ever recommending it to a friend of mine so yeah definitely definitely give it a read if you haven't yet after me recommending it so many times so i won't go into much details of this book because i've already made a full book review on it which you should definitely check out if you are planning to read this book so that was it for today's video and all the recommendations so all these books are not very lengthy and are very interesting to read so they'll help you to increase your you know number of books that you have read in this year so yeah definitely give it a shot and give it a try and uh, mention in the comment section below your favorite books of 2019 i would definitely give it a read if i haven't in the coming year now if you like the video do give it a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel for more such videos and if you wish to get into contact with me i leave the links of my social media handles below in the description box you can do so and um, i'll see you very soon with a new video till then keep reading keep loving Thank you.